building a farm plan for a specific vineyard is extremely important. We're looking to design a plan that serves as both a record keeping uh, document and also a, a living, breathing uh, document about how we farm. Most of the work with a farm plan is actually done in the office. Farm plans can be made in lots of different ways. We can use a Word document. It's just very important that we're capturing what we plan to do and making great evaluations on whether or not it worked or not. What we're very interested in, in sitting down and evaluating the farm plan, uh, is find out what worked, find out what didn't work, and then, very important, make sure that we understand what the cost of those things were. So what I like about a farm plan is that we can go back and I can look at previous years. I can find out exactly what we did in the past uh, and I can make a, a conscious evaluation of whether or not that worked for me, whether, there, whether or not that met my budget goals, whether or not that um, worked to manage risk effectively in my vineyard operation. It's very important not to forget some of the small things. Uh, so for example, if we're thinking about an individual block, it's important to note uh, other items like uh, specific pest pressure. Do I have deer problems in this area? Do I consistently have mites? If somebody is looking at reading this in the future, they want to make sure that some of these small things don't slip through the cracks. It's extremely important to have a great plan going into the season about how we're going to work with our canopy. You can see here in this particular vineyard, we're looking for 14 nodes. Um, uh, we've, we've gone through and we've hedged three different times. All of these are in our farm plan. And I can look back and say, um, did we actually meet our goals? So going through at the end of the season, I can come through and quantify, do I have 14 nodes per vine? Uh, do I have the correct spur pruning? Do I need to make changes to my vineyard operation that would improve both my wine quality and cost in this vineyard going forward? One of the things in this particular vineyard we've asked the guys to do is to go through and re do replacement spurs every place where we've had a long spur. So at this point, because of our farm plan narrative uh, and every crew leader and the vineyard manager is on the same page about what we're doing in this vineyard, you can see they've left a replacement spur which we'll prune to next year and make this cut and actually lower all of it. So this is a great example of designing the proper protocol and having the proper execution this usually doesn't happen without a very comprehensive farm plan in the beginning of the season. At the end of the year, we can come back and evaluate what we've actually done in the vineyard. Um, going back and referring to our farm plan, I can make sure that we've hit all of our, our quality goals and all of our management goals in, in evaluating what kind of canopy we have, uh, how many nodes we left, what the light environment is. This, this time, post-harvest, is a great time to reflect on what worked and what didn't. Um, without having that plan in place, I really don't have the ability to benchmark and understand exactly uh, the areas that need improvement for the following year. A farm plan does not have to be hard. Uh, this is probably the easiest step in your farming operation to better manage risk and to make noticeable improvements in quality. Designing the proper plan uh, is incredibly important for solving both of those complex problems.